एवरीवन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न टू मेक अ सिंपल एनवायरनमेंट डिज़ाइन इन ब्लेंडर सो विथाउट वेस्टिंग इनफ टाइम लेट्स जंप इनटू द वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गेट रिड ऑफ द लाइट सोर्स एंड द डिफॉल्ट क्यूब now press shift plus a and uh, add a plane mesh into the viewport increase the scale of the plane to 25 select the camera and make a few adjustment to its location and rotation values press zero on your numpad key for full camera view now select the plane mesh and adjust its location in z and y axis select the camera go to object data properties and increase the clip end value to 1000 meters again add a plane mesh into the viewport and increase its size to the largest value possible now select the first plane go to modifier properties and uh, add a subdivision modifier increase the render value to 4 again duplicate the subdivision modifier then after that add a displace modifier press new and under the texture tab select the type of texture to clouds and uh, increase the size to 2 and depth to 3 after that add a solidify modifier and change the thickness value to a similar value as shown in the video now go to the subdivision surface and uh, select simple in both of them now go to render properties change the render engine from ev to cycles select the device to gpu compute uh enter viewport samples to 32 and render samples to 128 under color management change the look to very high contrast now for, for adding light to the scene head over to the shader editor switch from object to world add a mix color node and join it to the background add a sky texture node and join it to the mix color node then add a environment texture and join it to the mix color node select the environment texture and press control plus t to get the texture coordinate and the mapping node combination in the environment texture 
open an image and uh, select that HDRI image which you want for the scene. Now in the sky texture, make a few changes like change the sun size to 15, reduce the intensity to 0.1, make sure the sun elevation is, is set to 2 and uh, increase the rotation to 82 degrees. After that, reduce the air amount to 0.1, the dust value to 0.7 and increase the ozone level to point to 1.6 now for adding materials select the first plane and change the shader type to object click on new to add a new material remove the default principal bsdf shader and add a glass bsdf shader Change the roughness value to 0 0.05 and join it to the material output. Now for the second, select the second plane, press new to add a new material, increase the metallic value to 1 and reduce the roughness to 0 0.15. Add a bump note and uh, Join it to the normal. Then add a color ramp node and join it to the bump node. For ramp variations, add a noise texture and join it to the color ramp. Press Ctrl plus T again to get this texture coordinate and mapping node combination. Join the object to the vector and in the noise texture reduce the scale value to 0 0.05 detail to 0 and the roughness value to 0 0.3 Switch to the render view to get a preview of the scene. Select the first plane mesh and move it a little bit upwards in Z axis. Now press Ctrl plus B to select the render region and Click on the render image button to render out the image. After the image is rendered, click on image and save it to a desired location on your computer. And that's enough for today's video. Hope you guys learned something new. If you found the video useful, do drop a like. And don't forget to add your valuable comment. Hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning.